In this code sample, we have a simple ASPX web page that includes a button and a text box. When the user press the button, button one underscore click function on the server side is invoked. This is the function. And when this function is invoked, the executed code refers to the query string property, a property that exists in HTTP request. We can get the HTTP request object that represents the request uh, by referring the request property inherited from page. Doing so, request.querystring returns a collection of all parameters that the query string includes. Here, we iterate those um, query string parameters and assign to the text box the names of those parameters. Now if I try to execute it then I can say that there aren't any parameters. Well, if I do a small change in the URL address and add a query string such as id equals 1 to say 1 to 3 and name equals or uh, lang equals en and press enter well now I can see that I have two parameters in the query string id and lang